Hello everybody, welcome back to Ray's World. It is Monday, I hope you guys are doing great. Holy smokes, we have got some snow. Uh, they were predicting anywhere from 8 to 12 inches of snow, and I bet we have probably got it. But right now we have some really, really epic mail. So come on down here, I want to show you what we've got. We may even do a close-up, bring another camera in here, because we have got some really, really cool stuff. Check this out. All right, guys, our first package comes from Christian's Coins. Check this out. There's so much here. It came in a giant box. Where is it? Here it is. Came in this giant box. I saw this in my post office box, and I was like, holy cow. And it was all taped up, and it was had holes in it and everything. I hope somebody didn't, like, break into this and steal anything out of it. Um, so I opened it up just to kind of take a look and make sure everything was okay. But there's all of these. Check these out. These are Fennings. So these are old German coins uh, before there was the Euro. So back from the 80s and 70s. Very cool. 10, 5, 2, 1. I love this one right here. This 50 cent or 50 fenning rather. Sorry. Very, very cool. These are really cool. I love these. Definitely going to keep those. This here looks like um, Christian's Coins uh, tried to put together kind of an example of all of these different uh, 20 cent. One cent, two cent, five cent euros, um, German euro coins. Here's all of the uh, other uh, coin holders that, that it all came apart in the mail. There was this wrapper, uh, 55 cent euros. I hope somebody didn't steal that, but this wrapper was like that in the, in the bag. This was a, I think this is the correct one. This is a two cent, or excuse me, two euro special coin and there's some history about the coin or the coin series but this one's really cool i love the two different types of metals i love how they do that that is so cool thank you so much for this and then here's a bunch here's a couple of notes but all of these these were all loose these are one two five ten euros so these are all modern uh, they were all just kind of loose and rolling around in the package, so I put them in an envelope. Um, old German currency before the Euros. Yep, that was that, that list that I showed you there. Um, that is still uh, a fenning and more. And then it had this here with some mint marks. Berlin, Munich, F and G. I don't, I don't know where those are. I can't pronounce it. J. Hamburg. I've been to Hamburg, actually. I spent a summer in Darmstadt with my dad. He was stationed there in the army. And uh, we went to Dieberstadt, which is uh, where Frankenstein's castle is. We went to uh, Frankfurt, Hamburg, Heidelberg. Uh, even went over to Prague and Czechoslovakia. So um, had a really, really great time touring the castles around Germany. Absolutely beautiful country. And then check this out. We've got 51 cents or rather two cent euros here and i don't know if um i'm supposed to coin roll hunt these and open them or not i kind of like just keeping a couple of these sealed and then look at this here's a pack from the bank shrink wrapped two three four five ten rolls of one cent euros and so i'm tempted I'm tempted to coin roll hunt these and if I do I'm gonna make a separate video on that but thank you so much Christian's coins I really really appreciate that next package we have is from Miller prospecting dude Dylan thank you so much Dylan contacted me a couple weeks ago and said hey Ray I have some coins I want to send you um, send me your mailing address I'm like cool man thank you so much and I tell you I love your intro hey everyone as always Dylan Miller prospecting I love it. I think you got a great intro. Let's check it out. I did open it up, give it a little preview. Ray, here are three pennies, flying eagles. Awesome. And a graded 1863 penny. Feel free to keep them or use them on a 500 subscriber giveaway. And I definitely will do both. I definitely will keep one um, at least. And I will definitely be giving some of these away. Let's look at this graded 1963 Indian head penny ICG G4 I don't know ICG I'm not familiar with them this is my first graded coin ever I've seen a lot of other graded coins but I don't have any graded coins until now but I think we're gonna be giving this one away 1863 Indian head very very cool protected in that slab and then 
1857. I think this is the one I'm going to keep. 1857 Flying Eagle. Very, very cool. Let's do this proper. There we go. And then there's two 1858s. One is a small lettering. One is a large lettering. And so this I may give away as a set because that is really cool. 1858, 1857 Flying Eagles. Dylan, thank you so very much. Definitely will be passing on some of this love to um, other people in the community. So a couple of weeks ago, Silver Baggins got um, a ring made for him from JT Coin Rings. He took and sent the guy a one ounce Silver Eagle, American Silver Eagle, and he got back a ring. And I thought, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. But it's a little bit big, it's a little bit thick, and that's not something I would like. Last year, when we got our dog, um, she's a puppy, and she ate my wedding ring. She ate it, or she knocked it into oblivion somewhere. We have not been able to find it. 22 years we've been married last year, 23 this year, and I lost my wedding ring, my original wedding ring from when, from 1996, when we were kids. So very upset, very disappointed. Well, Christmas, Allison um, got me a silicone ring, and it's nice. It's very, very comfortable, but when I saw that video from Silver Baggins, I thought, I need one of those. And I thought, what about a coin that is silver, so I don't have gold like I had originally, but what about a silver ring from 1996? That was the year we were married. And JT Coin Rings, I contacted him and told him the story and told him what I wanted to do. And he said, well, instead of Silver Eagle, what about, because the Silver Eagle is a low mintage in 1996, it would be very expensive. What about a Kennedy half dollar, like a silver half dollar? And it's a proof that year. And I'm like, that's wonderful. So I went out to um, one coin store that didn't have any, and I went to the other coin store. I actually sent Mrs. Ray's World to the other coin store, and they got the whole mint set. And so I gave away some. Of, I gave away the the um, the nickel and the penny, and uh, I I kept the quarter and the the dime because they're silver. But um, I, I sent JT Coin Rings the silver Kennedy half dollar proof, and I got it back. So in the package was his business card. Ray, thank you for the support. JTCoinRings.com. Definitely check him out. I've linked all three channels in the video description, but definitely check out JT Coin Rings. He does have a video too on how he makes his rings, and that is absolutely phenomenal. It's a great video. I got a sticker. That is definitely going on the map. Oh my gosh, it took me forever to get that off of there. He's in the Northeast, so we're putting it kind of in the Northeast. Jeweler's cloth, so I can clean the ring, keep it shiny. Here's the ring in a custom pouch. He did this for Silver Baggins, and I thought maybe that was just kind of a special thing, but he did this for me too. Maybe it is a special thing, maybe not. There are the silver shavings. So he sent me all of the silver shavings back. Here it is, guys. This is amazing. <gasps> 1996S. In God We Trust. Look at that. You can see my reflection in there. Hey. This is absolutely beautiful, guys. Oh, there's the centerpiece. There's the centerpiece that he punches out. So I got that back. There's Kennedy's ear and the eagle on the back. I'm gonna leave that in there. Liberty, you can see Kennedy's hair. And look at that, half dollar. And if you flip it over, United States of America. That is so cool. So I was married in 1996 and now I have a wedding ring. Oh, it feels good. Wow, that is incredible. That is so awesome. I got an email back from JT and, and I let him know I got the package and, and he just said, thank you so much for letting me be a part of this. And I, I can't express my gratitude enough 
This is absolutely beautiful. Guys, go check out JT Coin Rings. Send him some love. Check out his videos. Have a ring made. Help support him. He is doing some really, really cool things. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so comfortable. Now, in addition to that, he also sent me, this is from JT Coin Rings. He sent me a t-shirt. A t-shirt with my logo on it. Oh my gosh, you bet I will be wearing this on Weedy Wednesday. It's got JT Coin Rings logo on it as well. Let me hold this up for you guys. This is awesome. I will be wearing this for Weedy Wednesday. How awesome is that? Put my Clutch Guitars beanie on, my JT Coin Rings t-shirt. Join me on Weedy Wednesday. It's going to be an absolutely amazing day. You are not going to want to miss this box of this penny hunt because it's going to be phenomenal. Take care, guys. Thank you so much for watching. JT Coin Rings, Dylan from Miller Prospecting, and uh, Christian's Coins for all of the gifts. I love them. All of them. Thank you so much. Take care, everybody. Bye.